All these elements combined are going to add for a hot, sultry shoot. Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. And welcome to another episode of America's Next Top Scandal Girls. <laughs> It is the temperature of the sun in where I am today. Oh. So you're having swimwear and you'll be happy with it. You can't even have nicely styled hair in this weather. No. Humidity, 4,000%. I'm actually swimming. It was a perfect fashion moment. So I know in the last episode I did actually say that I want to do two of these per month. And as it's still just July. Oh, but by the time this goes up, no, it'll be the 1st of August. Oops. Well, I almost had two per month, didn't I? Almost. Just a little bit. You are the worst! Do you know, every single time that we go to watch one of these America's Next Top Model Cycle 4 episodes, I keep thinking, is today the day? Is today the very famous Tiffany episode? And do you know what? I'm going to ask myself that exact same question today because who knows? It might be. And with that, should we have a top comment from the last episode of America's Next Top Scandal Girls? You wouldn't believe I'd curled this, would you? Stay at that. Kate3863 and they say, Tiffany's grandma was the true hero in this story. Story. Get a life. Read a book. Honestly, exactly that. Do you know, something about being like the odd one out in the room, I'm very familiar with that feeling. Even in being the odd one out online, let's be honest. It is so easy for people to create rumours about you and those rumours just take off. And do you know what? Sometimes you need someone else to step in and say, Get a life. Read a book. To the people who are just twittering away or keyboard typing away somewhere, wherever it is. I've had people spread rumours that I've had a heart attack and that's why I didn't post a story that day on Instagram. That a certain YouTube YouTuber cheated on his ex-girlfriend with me whilst he was in London. Can you believe it? No. Do you know what I say to those people? Get a pissing life. I've got a bucket of piss, sweetie. So my lovelies, I just want to get straight into it today. Make sure you're sitting comfortably and grab yourself a beverage. Today it is Pepsi Max because I actually want to feel slightly like cool and refreshed rather than buzz buzz bitch. Pop your little ohanger right into your scandal hole and let's watch America's Next Top Scandal Girls. <sighs> Living the dream. So I wouldn't usually do this, but I actually want to watch the previously on America's Next Top Model section here because listen to this. I just caught a skim of it as I was skimming through. Michelle's skin infection freaked out her roommate. Yumi, did you try to use the same word? Imagine being like, Michelle's skin infection breaks down her roommates. Like, surely Michelle is the one we should be worried about in this situation. No? No. no. Oh no, but the TV. Oh no, the reality TV. The reality. No. And was sent home. Oh dear, yes, Ten Noel. Uh, Noel. Noel. Will be Noel. eliminated tonight. <laughs> what well, off the game? It's too hot to dance. I might pass away. Just simply pass. A fabulous strut with a fresh personality. <laughs> I swear, every time I watch this, I'm like noticing something new about the intro. That I'm like, is this even the same series that we were watching previously? Oh, Becky, Brandy, Sarah, no, PNG wig sent home. Yes. Colleen, no, no, Michelle. They're all being treated particularly hateful, aren't they? Let's be honest. Tiffany wigs! Right. Let's get the beverage at the ready, girly wig. That is such an iconic intro though, isn't it? I mean, honestly. It's very like sleek black packaging in a mall. Right, what's this? Hello, we're in LA. Beep, beep, bitch, time to wake up. Michelle, look what you've done to this cut. It should be gone in a couple days. Are you happy? Is it a relief for you? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, Good. It's, it's not as contagious. I mean, there's like slim chance, but... You guys are safe, don't worry. That's still contagious. <laughs> now you can rub your head on our pillows. Yep. Oh <laughs> I have empathy. Would somebody please get her at least a purple shampoo? There's only so many times I can shout piss. Tigo, like a bacterial Tigo? thing, but the fact that my skin is like clearing up and everything so... and it's going away is it though? It's definitely lifting my spirits. Has uh, production uh, made uh, you say uh, that uh, to uh, make uh, themselves uh, feel uh, better uh, because uh, it uh, seems uh, like, <laughs> oh, this horribly contagious thing that's caused your storyline to explode is actually only one episode long. How convenient. <laughs> right, okay. This yeah, in the elimination. Bed. Oh, seriously. If I'm the last I two again, ask. I don't even want to think about it. You'll be the judges look at you oh, yes, as having in the such lowest amazing a few potential. Times now, and then she? your pictures have been. Oh, I know I have to, you know. Did we see that? Up, like, did we see them say that? Did we see her say that at the last elimination? I don't remember that. I don't remember Tyra going to her and being like, wah, 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 like a sad trombone in a cartoon from the 90s. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, it's a hideous building, isn't it? 
Quickly, someone put an envelope in that you've got to act like it's new. Do you know how many times since the last episode has everyone been sending me this meme? I'll put a bomb in the house, lol. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Andrea. Everybody wants a bomb in the house, lol. Also, could see her doing it, couldn't you? Top models need to have good figures. How bankable are you? Be ready at noon. Are they going to the bank? Oh, don't tell NetWest. How bankable are you? Oh, because Tyra Banks. Also the bank. The tire mill about being bankable, people are thinking that maybe it was going to be an auction for each of us girls, like how much we're worth. Not an auction for girls. We're not doing that. No, thank you. Uh, goodbye, everyone. It's been lovely. It's been really nice covering this series. We're not doing that. Goodbye. I know you're here somewhere. An auction for the girls. Each of us girls, like how much we're worth. Oh, that feels girls. Oh, because of our confidentiality, uh, I have well? uh, a required uh, standard agreement that must be signed by each of you. Right. Uh, NDA. What is this for? It's, um, this man is handing us contracts. He's like, you know, it's just a, it's just a simple contract. Uh, we don't have much time. I'm confused. I'm sorry. I'm... Finish, please. Must move along. You have to either sign it and go in like we're supposed to, or we don't sign it and you get to it outside. So I just signed it. I just felt pressure. Oh, we all... look at their faces. This isn't fun. Signed it. Look, they're all genuinely worried because I think deep down everyone knows that when you sign something, like you are agreeing to something. And if you don't understand that contract, your kind, your brain kind of goes like, well, I'll just hope for the best that it's not the worst thing that's ever going to happen to me in my entire life. Oh dear. Yes, I would never, I would never sign a contract without reading it deeply. Maybe now. And now at this point in my life, even getting lawyers to overlook it. I just felt pressure. We were all Look, just fear. so confused and what? Really fear. After Pretty we fears. sign our contract, we are escorted into the room. Oh God. What a surprise! This is Bankable Productions. This is my. I need to turn the volume up. Mummy's. Mummy. No. Mummy. Mummy. Oh. Don't touch me. What? This is my company. Right. Well, today I want to talk to you about the business side of modeling. I know you guys have had beautiful pictures taken. You've learned how to walk. Well, you've learned how to put frightened. on makeup. But none of that oh, is Oh, Michelle. What have they done to your hair? Look at all the like breakage up here in her like hair, hairline, what do you call it, parting? Look at the like short little tiny bits that look a bit like breakage and the fluffy ends and the bleach and the roots and the, oh, and just the yellowness of it. Oh, they did a dirty, didn't they? She had dirty, dirty girl. I would also just love to interject here that I have a brand new channel here on YouTube, my lovelies. It is called Luxaria Labs and it is about my adventures in tech and photography. The link is in the pinned comment and I will see you over there, my lovelies. Uh -huh. You've learned how to put on makeup, but none of that is worth anything if you don't understand the business side of this industry. Right, so are you going to get what, and 20 minutes? I want to introduce a woman that I would not be here today if she were not in existence. Well, this is Carolyn London. Everyone has a this is my mother. Oh, she managed the first seven years of my career. So Ooh. today we're just going to talk to you guys about this whole business side of mom. Oh, I, I wonder how that worked out. I actually don't know a lot about Tyra's relationship with her mum. She might be a very nice, well-adjusted, stable lady. Quite often, unfortunately, mums that go into management generally don't. So if you're at a point in your career where you're like, do you know what? I think I need to expand my career with someone who is perhaps better acquainted at this. Sometimes family members who are your agents will suddenly be like, no, you can't. And is this a gender fluid look? And then the true colours come out. That was vile. I'm not doing that again. No. She's an actress. <laughs> no, but she could be. No. Because I don't know much of the business. I, I, I want to introduce a gentleman clothes. that you guys my already hair. met. Don Banks. This is my father. <laughs> Don Banks? That's her for father. Yeah. For father. I want to also bring in... My Joe other Barbara, father. A really great lawyer. The paper that you guys signed today, you pretty much signed your lives away. Um, I, I own you now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my father Don Banks owned you in perpetuity, which means forever. You also must jump five times every time you hear the word model. Can I do some jumping right now? Every time you hear the word model. 
I mean, this is a good exercise, I suppose, in being like, make sure you read your contracts, girlies. Because actually, I bet that even young impressionable people that were watching this would then be like, oh my god, that should always read a contract. And if there's anything positive that we can take away from America's Next Top Model, it might be this little bit here that's like, please read what you sign. That's actually very sensible. It's a shame about all the race swapping. Everything you sign is very important, whether yes. you know what's in it or not. Yes. If you have doubts, oh. trust your... Oh, oh, if you just, what have they done to your hair? They must have put like a 40 volume on for like an hour. It's just, hair should not look like this. After you've been to like one of the best salons in the world, girl. We've only got 13 pixels and I can already tell that it's kind of crispy. They've done her so dirty. You have it's doubts, like, trust your- She had a really traumatic experience with America's Next Top Model, let's be honest. Instincts. Don't sign it. Are uh, you guys gonna rip those up? <laughs> <laughs> no, they are property of bankable productions. <laughs> and the last sentence uh. says that they're void, null, and unenforceable. Uh. They're not real. And in this industry, there's always, on jobs, there's always somebody trying to get you to sign something. Yes. How many people have had someone come up to them and say, oh my God, you should be a model, you're fabulous, and just pay me $5,000 and it's great. This guy came up to me, he's like, oh, you're gorgeous, you should be a model. And so I went there the next day and they're like, just pay us 995 bucks. I just had a similar story. They wanted me to pay $2,000 to take all these classes so Scandemic. they could turn me into something. It's important for you all to know and for all young girls everywhere to understand that if an agency asks you for any type of money up front, it is a scam. Mm. In order to be a top model, you also have to be a top businesswoman. So I actually, this is the sweetest, nicest part of the series that we've seen so far. That can be taken anywhere. You can run that to the bank, lol. In any industry, make sure that if anyone is representing you for anything ever, do not part with money first. Never goes for going for any job interview if they're like, oh, in order to actually get the job posting, you have to pay. No, 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 no. Scamdemic. Scam. Around yourself with experts in many different fields. Yes. But you also have to be mindful that they are reputable. When I started, I always took this industry as a business, but I think my success has been separating who I am from what I do. You know, there's Tyra, that thing, that... A brand. And then there's just me, with no hair weave, my hair nappy, hanging out at home. Once you win this competition, the whole world's gonna be looking at you and picking you apart. Why does she win? I want the other one to win. Look at her walk. Oh my god, her nose is so weird. You just see she has a stomach. I'm always criticizing I mean, her. yeah, but you have, in fact, contributed to that. Let's not, like, beat around the bourgeoisiers. Janice Dickinson, in one of the last episodes that we watched, in fact, it might have actually been from the last season. Looked at a girl who was very, 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 very thin and frail and was like, You left five weeks pregnant, girl. So, let's not, let's not, let's not. I'm my toughest critic and I know what I need to work on. I have to just relax and be myself. Bye. Bye. Yes. Don't sign nothing. I think. It is a business. You have to be smart and be on your toes and you are your own business. There's a lot more that goes on than just being a pretty face. In fact, yes. One would say that the modeling industry is like 80% business, 20% nice pictures that sell things. <laughs> right, oh gosh. Being in the house is stressful. Underground rage, right, she's got guys. It will tear you down. She's doing a wig. And just to be able to laugh with each other and just have a good time and forget oh dear. about eliminating. I mean, they've lived with each other now for long enough that they might be able to, like, do those sorts of pranks and get away with it. I, um, I don't know, though. I don't think YouTube's going to like me putting that there. They're going to be like, no, where's the family friendly body shaming? It's because you're really flat chested. Fuck one out, girl. That are coming out. All the steam. Tiffany and I and a few other girls decided we were going to have fun tonight. We are going like, to just let go and go out to dinner and get dressed up. That is wild that they're allowed to like go out I'm into the real world. Oh, look at that. That is the most 2000s thing ever. A boat neck off the shoulder, loose fitted jersey dress with a tiny little sissy Facebook cross dresser handbag. I'm a crazy person. I can go out and have absolutely I'm, a not I'm one just a drink. crazy girl. And I will be goofy and be crazy. That's my personality. Okay. Well, show us, don't tell us. I must admit, there is something a little bit cringe. Mind you, they're all very young, so you're allowed to be cringe when you're young because that shows that you are growing up. There's something very uh, off-putting about people that are like, I'm just so wacky, look at me, a crazy lady. How bad could I possibly be? Let's see. All the customers are playing. 
I hate you. I'm going home. I'm not taking my shoes off. Sorry, sit. We all go in, take our shoes off, sit down on the pillows, get comfortable, <laughs> and then some girls start ordering drinks. Peace. Oh. Okay. We're just ready to cut loose and really have a good time. Cheers to being the last ten standing. Oh, yeah. Is it perhaps yeah. South Asian yeah. cuisine? Yeah. Thanks for that. Becca, what's going on with you? Becca, are you no, such a freaking loser? You can't have a dang drink. Britney's drinking bothers me. You can drink and have fun. Hey, hey. But I think once it gets to a point where you start to lose control, I think that's when you've taken it too far. That was me, go. That's why I'm sober. Stop, stop, We've been stop. a poor photo shoot. And I am my hardest critic. But actually hearing it from somebody else made me... Say that again. Say that again. What's happening? Oh, Britney, girl, put the booze down. And you've taken it too far. You've had three bad photos. Stop, stop, We've been stop. a poor photo shoot. And I am my hardest critic. But actually hearing it from somebody else made me think about stuff like that. Hey, my girl, you like it? Oh, she, now they've put on this music. They're like, look at this crazy lady. Oh, she's on the table, girl. No. Brittany, you know, drank too much and started being very disrespectful of the restaurant. So I was like, oh, God, we're tearing this place apart. <laughs> Brittany drank about a bottle of wine on tequila, and uh, she went kind of crazy. Uh, the thing is, really as much as yes, this is also like something that's actually happening, if we are a viewer within this room, we would be like, She's being crazy lady on the tables. There is a whole production team here. There's going to be storyline producers, executive producers. There's going to be a director of photography, a director of cinematography, a sound guy, cameramen from all different angles, assistants, runners, interns, all in this room filming this and being like, the storyline's developing. She's going to regret this. So while my initial reaction is like, oh no, she's being too crazy on the booze. She's a booze hound girl. I am also like, oh, enablers are in the room encouraging this and they're making money from it. Because you're not only representing yourself, but you're representing America's Next Top Model as a group. It is true. <laughs> The way we were represented is not how I want people to see me. Very true. There is something about like going to like business meetings and whatever. Business meetings, business lunch, business wigs, where if you embarrass yourself, you can't show your face again. No! Yeah, so we don't do all that. No. Oh, and the song ended just in time for me to go home. Oh, not Fallopian Chew. Her left vulva. The thing is, this is one of those moments where like, shall I be a bit harsh here? This I'm including myself in this here. So I used to be paid to go to parties and get drunk. It's part of the club kid lifestyle. It's kind of what you do. You dress up, you go out, you get drunk and you draw attention to yourself and everyone around you because everyone wants to be you girls. I don't know. It's one of those sayings though, where it's like, if rich people do this, it's fun and fresh and classy. But if not rich people do it, it's trash. And that is like socialite behavior. So we saw Lindsay Lohan, Paris Hilton, and I think Britney Spears was included in this as well, but obviously Britney was going through some things at the time. In fact, they all kind of were really, but they were treated as like gorgeous beers, celebrities getting drunk. I mean, there were predatory paparazzi as well. It's not quite the same as just like your bestie, Kathy down on the beach, drinking too much, slurring her words, stumbling in the shop, shouting at someone getting arrested and going home. You know what I mean? There used to be, I don't know if there is anymore. I feel like the tides on alcohol are kind of turning around. It's not really seen as like ultra fashion glamorous anymore to be off your tits drunk. Whereas when I was growing up, it was seen as like ultimate rebellion girly. I have another one. <laughs> she's very playful, she's very fun and outgoing. But when she starts drinking, she gets really loose and she, you know, goes really far out. Loose <laughs> Oh, stop displaying like your clitoral you know, hood, please. <laughs> Thank you. Goodbye. Oh dear. Is this the music of like retribution? Like, oh, the morning after the night. That's not real. Electric Lotus. When people start clearing dishes off the table and glasses and dance on a dinner table in a beautiful restaurant, I was bothered by that. You know, yeah. it's not appropriate. 
I, I kind of agree. Yeah, that's that's like... very like, you can probably get away with a little bit of that in like a silly club environment if you're in the VIP. When you're in a restaurant, like restaurant etiquette is very different to like club etiquette. You wouldn't catch me on the table. Thanks. Catch me outside talking to the bouncer. I'm going to cream. Oh, I was a problem. I love Britney so much, but I don't in situations think you do. like this, I'm not going to drink a lot. You don't have to say that you love people so much when they are problematic to you. You don't have to be like, well, I love them so much, but blah. you don't have to say that. To put myself in a situation where She's I could. She's gone out my in her daytime tweed when it is clearly an dream. evening chiffon event. I'm a pretty fine person. You are, but you're even funnier when you're drunk. <laughs> oh, anxiety girl. The real true Britney comes out. I need something to drink. <laughs> I love a dark lip. Every day with no play. Now it's time to party. Because it's at 2 15. We're going partying again? I don't understand. This is just a week of partying. It was funny that we got the time. Tiffany does like to be no like, play. underwear, lol. And we're all like having so much fun. I can't play. You people have no class. I'm a little nervous. I was just thinking, gosh, what kind of party are you going to go to? Oh, my goodness. What is that? Nervous. Electric lima bean. Put you in my oven! Mummy would never. Thinking, gosh, what kind of party are you going to go to? It's it is kind of weird. They're also in, like, in a medieval afternoon. castle every now and then. The decor of this place. We all go to find our best black dresses. Just try to get, like, so LBC. cute. For whatever Little we're doing. black we're do. dress. We go way up, and like, in mansion. Bel Air somewhere. Like, some really nice area Bel up in the hills. Air. Well, you guys all look so beautiful. Of bells. <laughs> look at Thank you. you. Oh, you like and they're gonna get married <laughs> if so we suddenly what? on the bachelor. Cover girls getting a makeover. They're adding a totally new look to the store, like new products and new faces. And they're having a party at this beautiful home tonight to unveil that new look. Overlaid. So try to meet and impress everyone in there. It's okay, really so this important, is all right. No time to be nervous. Networking. So let's go inside and have some fun. Networking. A networking event. I am so terrible at networking events. I've been to so many of them. And you know what? I just, this is the one thing about being sober and going to events where like people serve alcohol or people are like, use, so, uh, use alcohol as a social lubricant. I don't get any of that. So my brain just goes, mm, I have to talk to people I don't know. And these are really important people. So I end up just sort of standing awkwardly off to the corner. And then in my head, for some reason, I come up with a narrative that they're probably just like, look at that in the corner. Nobody loves that. Own worst critic as well, girl. I do, however, think a good host is someone who makes sure that everyone is involved, and I have yet to meet a good host like that. One of the actual CoverGirl models, Kiara, is at the bottom of the steps, so she welcomes me in. Welcome to the launch party really well. I'm Thank Kiara. You. Thank you. Enjoy. No problem. Ooh. Hi. Oh, I well, like that girls dress. were invited to a party tonight, but what they don't is know is tonight is really a challenge. There are top fashion insiders yeah. from Elle magazine, Cosmopolitan, and the... It sounds like he's recorded this in, like, a passport photo booth. Listen. Fashion yeah. insiders from Elle magazine, Cosmopolitan, Ellen. and the CoverGirl brand. Was she called Anals? No. Mag Anus? Anis? Lombard? Okay. And the CoverGirl brand, who are secret judges at the challenge. I am. I'm Holy right yoke. What is your name? Eva. Eva, nice to meet you. And Kiara. Kiara, nice to meet you. And Brittany, yeah. yeah. She's very pointy. She'll be points. judging the girls on three key elements. What's your elements. name? Confidence and poise. Oh, oh. That's, that thing's gone off like five times so far. How the girls work the room yeah. and interact with other people. The oh, girl has so much, you know, everything's so natural. natural. And how well their beauty truly shines inside and out. It's like ever since I was a little girl, I pose all the time. I'm always posing and like, I was like four no, years old, like going. I don't really wear too much makeup, but I can wear as much cover as I want and still look natural. I was really focusing on myself and making sure I left a good impression on as many people as I could. I'm People don't have that kind of conversation. You don't go to a business party and have that kind of a conversation whilst being filmed unless you have been prompted, which means that this is a whole like advertisement section. I mean, obviously they're the sponsor of this show, but still it feels very blatant to be like, I just can wear as much as I want and I still look natural. It's like they're really enunciating the word natural, which must be part of the brief that they were told. Like everybody must say natural, how natural they look. Natural aid is natural. And making sure I left a good impression on as many people as I could. I've never been to like a big party like this before, so. Do you also look natural? and stuff, but that, that's about it. How is it to be the center of attention? Do you feel natural? Great answer. It's a great, it's a great attitude. What'd she say? Great. It humbles me. It humbles me. Great answer. It's a great, it's a great so attitude. So kind. Yeah. This party is for meaning 
people in the industry. There's people from magazines. I want to try one of those things. Um, Elle magazines, Cosmopolitan. I might actually be wearing the same lipstick as Britney today. This is Creme de Nude by MAC. Uh, no, that's the drink I had. Okay, I want this. Yeah, no, they... Wait, don't listen. <laughs> Oh I think Britney's beautiful, but I think sometimes Britney's personality may be too loud and too forceful. Like, all right, all right, drink! Yeah. This is a modeling competition, not a who's the loudest chick competition. What do you oh, think about the Oh, unfortunately, I'm one of these people that says, don't ever dull down your shine and don't ever dull down your personality. But I do feel like there is a way of melding your personality to the room that you are in. Because if your personality is standing in the way of you achieving something, then some introspection on how your personality comes across might be valuable, you know? Like, I'm quite loud and exciting here on YouTube. Big titty lady videos on the internet. Egged. I've got a bucket of piss, sweetie. Don't let that go! Don't let that go! Don't let that go! Fucking cheese! I'd like to think so anyway. As I've been told once or twice. Mm. I wouldn't be going into the bank and being like, She's got go girls! Oh my god, have you seen the state of her wig? Is it over? Well, I might. You don't know me, do you? What do you think about the cover girl's books models? Do you have a favorite one? Ooh, I don't know. Natural, natural conversation. Like, I don't, oh, she's I don't got her bag. She won the other uh, day. I don't care, but you just met her when you came in. Welcome to the launch party really well. I'm Sierra. To be fair, that's a very heavily edited photo. Okay, well, I just lost that one. This all day uh, lip color, mm -hmm. I love this. The only thing is when your little sister draws on your face with that, it doesn't. It's not so great. Yeah, it stays on top Is it natural? One might say. Yourself, as a, like, the next one on the wall. I think my spot would be over on that wall. <laughs> I don't really trust first impression, but when you're a model, it's like so important like to have like something different. Do you have have, like, yes. a favorite magazine. I like Ellie. I like the. You know, not the Ellie. Really Ellie magazine. Right not Ellie. Cardinal Sin. Know the industry you're going into. Favorite magazine. I like Ellie. I like the. Ellie magazine. magazine. I'm really nervous right now, so I'm looking at the makeup because you know the makeup can't talk back to me and it can't intimidate me. Uh, what's your name again? Carrie. Carrie. Okay. I'm myself all the time. I'm just a goofball. I'm big mascara girl. Oh, yeah. So I, mean, I look like a big lash girl. Uh, yeah. And those have to be big. They're mine. You know, it's like if these people okay. like you, then these people like you. But if they don't, it's going to be kind of weird. Eva. Yeah, you have to uh, win Eva. them over. I'm oh, I love this show. dress. It's very. I am a powerful aspects. woman. It's kind of clearing up. I, I always... would wear that. Would I wear that dress? I don't know. It would need to be a little bit different. A little bit more modern, but I do love the idea of something with like details and trails. With icy white hair, girl! The whole skin aspects, it's kind of clearing up. But I always try to find the positive side of things. I mean, the negative side's not going to get you anywhere. No, for that's a model, well, the skin is the canvas, basically. Especially for a beauty campaign such as CoverGirl, you need to have flawless skin. Right, but that, she's Cover currently girl. undergoing treatment for an infection caused by this show. So let's maybe not be like, keep it in here, keep that editing choice in here to make her sound awful. Don't get too big because your skin's rubbish, girl. That's kind of what that sounded like. So let's, let's take it a step back, shall we? Take a little bit of a moment, just think, you know what? Flawless skin. Flawless nice wig. Cover girls are much more than just pretty faces. Tonight's event was about letting your inner beauty shine while interacting with key editors and other influential people. What you didn't know was actually tonight was a challenge. I mean, I would have guessed. Yeah, I figured it out. I mean, There like... were judges mixed in with the guests at the party. <laughs> now I have notes on everybody. Tiffany, the judges felt that you were glued to the product and they wanted to get to know you. Kaylin, you had a great look and skin. Naima, you were a bit too quiet and reserved. Kenya, Overlaid. I actually thought you were very poised and that you would rock any industry party. Christina, you weren't paying attention to the people that you met. Tatiana, the judges felt like they couldn't get anything out of you at all. Overlaid. Yumi, you were very eloquent and knowledgeable about your unique beauty. Rebecca, they thought you had a great body. And Hello. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yes, Biscuit. Yes, very good. Yes. Have we not looked at you for 20 minutes? Very eloquent and knowledgeable about your unique beauty. Rebecca, they thought you had a great body. And knowledgeable about your unique beauty? What, because she was like, I really like mascara. Got really big lashes like mascara. I don't think that's her fault, but the idea that production was like, 
Oh, the storyline for her, she's really knowledgeable about her unique beauty. It's clutching at straws a little bit when they were like, Naima, she's too quiet and reserved when she just said that she was humble. So, mm, I think with the amount of overlaid audio sections happening here, this is like a crucial episode. What episode are we? Episode six, yeah, this is kind of like halfway through the season. They're really trying to hone in on the storylines of each character that we're seeing in this reality show now. So this, having like a section like this with so many overlaid pieces of audio means that they can change the narrative after it's been filmed all makes you think doesn't it girlies because it's not a modeling show it's a reality tv show in front of a camera mm. rebecca they thought you had a great body and you were oh. beautiful rebecca. Brittany, they were a little concerned they thought your priority was more about your drinking than meeting everybody at the party oh dear michelle don't want to be told that, that you didn't do you? look comfortable and that your skirt was too short with that skirt, the winner of tonight's challenge gets to pick one friend and you guys get to spend an amazing sorry night. how is her skirt friend, too short when they've literally got kenya there that is a higher than the middle of the thigh what an odd odd critique to spend again an amazing night lines. at a fabulous hotel on the beach the hotel is fabulous so the judges had to choose someone right. and who they feel most exemplified a cover girl at tonight's event was Kenya. Come over here. Oh. And I'm like. That's sweet. Are you serious? Yeah. Because this whole time. Oh, look at her week. tiny little so cross dress. Who are you going to pick to go to your event tonight? I'm going to pick Brittany. Oh, it's going to be a right hoax, girls. But Brittany and Kenya need to stick together. They need to get cut together. Don't focus on the booze so much. You got to focus on the people. You guys have a good time tonight. And I'll see you guys later. Oh, dear. Right, okay, a little hotel getaway for two ladies. Mama, are you going to be a lesbian tonight? <laughs> Lies. Don't get too many ideas, girly wing. Here. We walk inside and there's like this huge tray full of desserts and all the VIP treatment type stuff. And we're like, whoa, this is like crazy. Oh, it is nice to go into like a nice hotel, isn't it? Airbnb is absolutely horrendous now. I hate them. But staying in, you know, a moderate hotel. Ah, oh, love it. Right, back at the Hacienda. Oh. Oh. Oh, God, what is it? I bet I'm in the house, lol. Competition's getting tougher. Are you running out of gas? Be ready at 6.30 in the morning. Running out of gas? You're going to have to fill your cars at the local station. The thing with these, like, notes is they're so cryptic, but they're always, like, a pun as well. It's like, the competition's getting tougher. Are you running out of gas? Now, that's like, is it going to be a car show? A race show? Are they going to do drag race? Are you a puff? This looks good. Oh, cheese. What do we got here? Fucking cheese. Congratulations. Enjoy your VIP surroundings. As an added bonus to your win, you have the privilege of showing up fashionably late. Late to where? We get to be fashionably late. This is great because we have to wake up so early every oh, morning. This so they to my get to arrive later. What an interesting I prize. Give her toast for begging me. Her best you friend. get to win sleep. Sure. Oh. F2. I feel close to everybody. But yet, like, it's really lonely at times, too. Sorry, yeah. Not good. Oh, no, not the betrayal oh, music. Girl. This is so stupid. I know I don't look like the girl next door. I don't think I'm beautiful. I just think I'm weird looking. I'm different. You don't want to change who you are. I just want my puppy. Uh, yeah. I'm just completely lost, and I don't understand what's going on in God's little plan up there. Bye, baby. Bye. Well, I think for religious people to possibly even conceivably understand what this omniscient being from beyond the stars is up to, I think it would fry a human brain if that was in fact reality. So it's not up to you to understand God's plan. It's not up to you to actually judge anyone in your life. That's the whole point. You believe in an omniscient being beyond the stars in the grave. Yeah, to keep thinking about is Tyra telling it's not us up to you. people are going to judge you right offhand and make comments that you're not going to want to hear and they're going to critique you. She's like, you have to brush that stuff off okay. and know who you but, are. So I had a lot of good comments at the party, which was really helpful to me because I have been feeling very, like, in the middle. Tomorrow, tomorrow, 6.30 in the morning. Are you guys running out of gas? Like, the pictures are a big chunk of what 
makes us go home or not. And that's my biggest fault. So I really need to work 110% on my pictures because if yes, not, but then you've I'm got a loser's edit home. already. They don't, they like. Unfortunately, in this kind of a reality TV show, I reckon if I was part of a cast and after three episodes, I was like, oh, they're gunning for me hard and I can't please them no matter what I do. I feel like it would be hard in your head to then like delusionally believe you're still gonna win. Once you get the sense of your competitors and like where you are and how the filming is happening and stuff, you probably do get a sense of like, oh, I'm not gonna win this. Of course, they will force you to be like, are you gonna win? And you have to be like, yes. Otherwise, I just send you home anyway. Have you ever woken up? And this happens at home all the time. Like your insides hurt. Anxiety. <laughs> we received higher mail. Said, are you running out of gas? Be ready at 6.15. Kenya like actually won the competition. Of course, was going to pick Brittany to go like the beachfront hotel with her. It was really great to see them win because they haven't yet. Into the vans and think about what you've done. Good morning. As a bonus of our win, we get to be fashionably late. Breakfast in the wig. Breakfast in bed. It was wonderful. I do like an egg. We got to spend the night and just be treated like royalty, like celebrities, which we soon will be, hopefully. Breakfast in bed. Maybe Famous maybe last more. words, girly wig. Yeah. Not Lancaster. We're like in the boonies driving, in like for a bunch of Joshua trees. Joshua trees. We're thinking oh, this is very rustic rural. So as far as I understand, the boonies is short for boon, the boondocks, which I think is like countryside, but it has to be a little bit more like arid. Am I right in saying that? Yes. And also no. Yes, I saw a picture that. It is a gas, gas station. Gas. Well, thanks for stopping by to pick me up with my little hitchhike. She's been We're here cruising outdoors. the desert. Now, in the desert, of course, it's going to get very hot as the day goes along. Oh, God, here we go. But these aren't the only elements you're going to be dealing with today. Uh, We're also going to set you all on fire. A little wind you guys machine. You obviously see you've got wind, up to gale force winds here you got to deal Ooh. with. Same with this torrential rain. All these elements combined are going to add for a hot, sultry shoot. Now, the actual look for today's shoot is we're at this gas station out in the middle of the desert, right? So you girls are going to be these sexy, hot mechanics all greased up, <laughs> dealing with the elements. I'm going to be like... And how is this a high fashion photo shoot? What are you trying to sell? What's the angle here? Is it FHM or is it Ellie Magazine? Harper's Bazaar or Bizarrely Harper's? <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't be such a slap. Screaming from beyond the rain barrier. Screaming from beyond the grave. <laughs> now, today's photographer oh. is someone who's actually very accomplished as a photographer, but you may not know who. Who is it? Is it Nigel Barker? Oh, it's Matthew! It's Matthew, who's been doing our makeup. Matthew's actually a very accomplished photographer who has shot a lot of celebrities, and he... Interesting that they've kind of kept it in-house for this. Do you know what I mean? Like, they, they haven't, like imported a photographer they've just gone oh we know one of you in here come on come on down he's super talented right well let's see matthew anderson is a very talented and makeup artist and spa. fashion photographer massages. if not also Deep a bit problematic tissue massages that were so good oh so my wonderful. eye fire good. so wonderful Deep the best massage, massage i've ever had oh, in my entire life it was amazing <laughs> Okay. He's on a hassle blast. It's about us being sexy while getting blown away by heavy wind and water. It's crazy. Do, 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 do. Your first step, we gotta make this work. Okay, it's just a little bit of rain, right, okay. a little bit of wind. What's Play the with, angle? Get into it. It's okay. all about you. To make the shot even more dynamic, I decided to put a second girl in the background. Let's get this party started. A second girl? These photo shoots that we're doing are a little extreme, but at the same time, I'm, I'm sure that stuff like this happens in the fashion world, just probably not every week. Yeah. When it comes to just posing, that's something I'm good at. More movement! No, this is... The thing about a photo shoot like this is, 
If you are there as a paid model to model something, sell something, present as a muse for some company, they want to get the best out of you. They want to get their money's worth. They're not just going to pull you onto set and just squirt you and make you look horrendous and then be like, well, you didn't model, did you? Right, build, find. That's not what makes the industry money. So sometimes I do feel like these photo shoots are very like model mayhem in the way of like, we're just going to do it because we can, but it's not accurate to what would really happen. But then of course, because that's the whole point of a competition, isn't it? She's educated. Oh, spread. Spread like buttered chicken. I'm watching the girl behind me because I'm like, damn, please, you want to switch me? No, you can't tag me. Ooh. The water was just so cold and I was just like in shock. At first I couldn't breathe. I was like, oh, and you can't hear any direction. Yeah, you know? see, that's bad design then, isn't it? What's the risk? She's a greasy woman. She's been greased up no, and squirted. Yeah. Who writes the briefs? She's a little bit distracted by all the goings on, but she actually nailed it. She really went for very strong poses. It's okay, really good. hard to be sexy with winds blowing, about to knock me down, and water. This is going to be a very adult photo shoot, isn't yeah. it? Good job, Tiffany. I mean, I guess it could be like, you could probably advertise this as like maybe mid-range alternative fashion. Someone like Ed Hardy or is it Billabong? Is that still around? Am I showing my age, girl? I would never. We could try it backwards and forwards and wear it out. Backwards and forwards, up and down, like round and round. Tire. I mean, I'm all greased up. You know, this sexy mechanic. Oh, I've never been to California before, oh, I so see. I wanted to check out the I beach. was like, who's been thrown in the sea and why? They get to turn up late. Brittany was totally excited. We were in the water, playing around like we were five years old. And we had a ball. I feel like they're going to be like, and that was wrong of you. Oh, dear. She's a moody woman, filling up with gas. really got to work on that energy thing. And I felt like Michelle was going to start to cry, but you got to be honest because the girls have to learn from their mistakes. But we got one shot on Michelle. I thought I was doing a pretty good job, but I don't know. They, they're making me worry. All right, so now yeah, you have to work a little bit well. of the door, get back up, give us more body. Body? Body oil? <laughs> In order for me to work the best that I can, I have to put this competition almost out of my head. Focus on myself, Mechanics my character. always wear a say something yeah, belt. Yeah, yeah. Bravo. Really good job. Oh, Great good. job. Good variation. We got a lot to choose from. Okay. Oh, dear. Tyra's meal this has not said believable. the competition is getting tougher. And not this believable. is another huge challenge for me. I don't believe that you're a mechanic. I'm really nervous. No. I hope I don't crash and burn. She still has that Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm thing going on. Rebecca, Rebecca of Fanny Brook. Sense. Rebecca of Fanny Brook Farm. Rebecca of Fanny Brook Farm. Pussy. Pussy. <laughs> Elucidate further, please. Going on. Rebecca is safe sex. I really don't know where I. Which is a good thing. Why? Since when have we ever said that that's a bad thing? Rebecca is safe sex. I really don't know where I stand right now. I don't know. The more I see of Matthew Anderson, the more I'm like, mm, okay, you were someone, but not sure about all this. I think if I didn't nail the shoot, that there's a good chance that I could be going home. You need to work on your sexuality and being more... Lesbian. Edgy. My life is yes. a lesbian coming up. Ooh. Watch out! Yes! Do we believe that when she's a mechanic? When I think cars and gasoline, it is something I'm interested in. Do we? Because I used to work on cars a lot. Oh. You okay, so, so she loves gasoline. Surprise me. <laughs> I, mean, I really think this is your best shoe. <laughs> Don't be afraid to act this. Like, She's got such big features, like, ah! like big like, eyes, we're like screaming big lips. It's so pronounced. The more energy you have, the better we can work with it. We have to come in there and electric cattle project. We're not cattle prod models. We're not doing all that. Oh dear, not this music. Yumi, smile, be playful. Bumbling moron, clowny woman, she's going home. That was, um, that was interesting. She was like sitting there like this. I'm like, Yubi, does that feel pretty? Because it didn't look pretty. Do you think you're sexy? No. 
I can't. When I'm told to be sexy, I just laugh because I don't know what that is. I yeah, don't you need to be. If you, don't I... be. if you don't know what it is, you need to be told exactly what it is. Like, yeah, be sexy. Also, be, sexiness is very different to lots of people. There are men out there that will see a wig on a fire hydrant and be like, that is the most sexy, beautiful woman I've ever seen. <laughs> And there are men out there that don't even like women, so there. Take that. Think about what you've done. I don't know what that is. I how, never, how do you expect the a model if you don't I think know, you're sexy? That's what I need help with. Exactly. I think there's <gasps> that be a good shot in there, hopefully. Absolutely. He should be. The, the point is to learn, not just be like, why aren't you already the best? Because they wouldn't need this show. Howdy. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Your ass will freeze. It's not easy freeze. at all. We finally showed up at this photo shoot. Everybody was tired and exhausted and mad about the shoot, and we were like, hey, hey. you know, we were all relaxed. Oh, I thought we were going to be like, it's broken, go. Kenya did a good job, but she went too fast. She kind of just did it and went and went and went and went, and she forgets this is a still shoot, so the photographer still has to capture the moment. I don't mean to be rude, Jay, but that's a very easy fix. You just say, when I go like this, then you can change your pose. Easiest fix in the book. Ooh. I need you to believe your Pegging. environment and act in it. <laughs> right, okay. Believe, believe you are a mechanic in a storm. I didn't want to overdo it. I already have what they call oh, like go away. appeal. So I didn't want to do any poses oh, this is hard, that looked triple X. A bit hitchy. She was very reminiscent of the early Janice Dickinson when she was sitting on the back of the truck, whipping her hair back. <laughs> Definitely my favorite shoot so far. I feel pretty confident that I got my shot. I don't know. That seems very difficult to judge. Right, here we go, girlies. Tyra Mail, hold on! I'm a bomb uh, You will meet with the judges. <laughs> Only nine of you will continue in hopes of becoming a Oh, you already have that. Oh, One of you will be eliminated. I think that this is going to be one of the hardest judging so far. This music. This is, feels like deja vu from last week. Deja vu. And I think Michelle has got what it takes to become a top model. I'm definitely worried that I, I'm going to get eliminated. What a chaotic moment that was. That music was far, was not matched at all. Oh, there she is. A waterbender. Ooh. So this no week you know. learned all about the business side of modeling. Business week. But now it's time to get down to real business because tonight we're going to make our fifth cut. Right, okay. Ooh, which will bring us one step closer towards determining who will become America's Ooh. next top mom. Now you guys know about our amazing prizes. Ooh, the first being a contract with the top international modeling management agency, Ford Models. Yes. A spread in Elle magazine shot Ellen. by a world-renowned photographer, Gilles Ben Simon. And a one hundred thousand dollar contract with, with cover dfs girl sofas the first judge janice dickinson janice oh, one bother. of the world's first supermodels nigel barker nigel bisquish nole marin a prominent fashion editor and stylist and our gorgeous special Little guest dog. judge matthew anderson right. matthew's a legendary makeup artist and photographer mm. this week you will be evaluated on how well you sell your most important product we being what yourself. Right, okay, That's what does that mean? That's all I'm gonna say. Instead of you will find all the materials necessary to create the packaging for a perfume that represents who you are as a person. Oh. Who is we have to decorate the perfume Into bottle, the perfumery, bottle, girls! Formulation science when? Explain our perfume and kind of give a description about it. Oh god, Janice is gonna be like, it smells like dog shit, what? girl! Oh, oh, very arts and crafts. A model would never. A model in the industry would never. You would just never. It's irrelevant. No, no, no. All right, Kenya, come on down. The judges right. will take on five different characters from around the globe, which will represent consumers that are curious oh about God, your product. Oh, God, here we go. First, we have... Babs Firestein. Je la from France. I'm Johnny Hart. Igor Slotsky. No, 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 my, my, my name is Precious Tang. <laughs> I am a girl who represents a little bit of everybody. You can take this fragrance and you can do whatever you want to it. And I am Kenya. I am something that everyone would like to have taken around. If you want a clean, fresh oh God. Um, smell that will leave you breathless. Not smell, And scent. it'll make you feel good all day. The Clorox will do that. <laughs> you know, Ray Buck Spray is more sexy. You tell me why you so cold. 
I'm Kaylin, and this is my fragrance. I went with something a little more natural, a little... You're boring me. What's unique? Every fragrance has its own sense of smell. This one is... Kaylin, how would your scent leave me feeling? It's a perfume that goes to the individual, whether you're a working mother, a young girl, or even a janitor. What is this? <sighs> this is different. I don't know. It is a classic, beautiful scent. I actually quite like Tiffany's approach there. She's obviously, she's clearly seen through it and been like, this is ridicule. Like, sure. I don't know how I would take this. The thing is, to be good at reality TV, you have to play the game. And the game is never rigged in your favour unless you're the winner with the winning edit. And if you have any other kind of edit, you're not going to be the winner. So, you can always opt to not play the game. That makes for good TV. With a little bit of fruit to it. Now fruit you say uh, it's fruity now. Fruity just means light and citrusy and airy. Oh, like on my lemon tree. Now, nah, oranges. It's not expensive and it's got a good look to the Oh, this is making and me feel very uncomfortable. I'm a wrestler, but I try my hardest to be as fin as fin can't talk. I try to be as fin as fin as if they're playing record scratchers. When you look at it through different angles, it's beautiful and simple but elegant. I seen a commercial for uh Britney Spears. She, she in the bed, she rolling around with a boy. I feel it. I wanna be her. I, I want you to be more like Britney Spears. You know how she do the stuff. You know, like sell it to me. My product today is called Deliciously Tacky. It's for a. Am- I think this whole thing is tacky. Not delicious though, just tacky. Impersonating people as a celebrity is kind of, I don't know, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I can't exactly explain why. Is that like profiteering off privilege, maybe? I'm not sure I have the right, what's the word, like eloquence to understand exactly why I feel that way. But I definitely feel a little bit like this isn't correct. Would anyone with any further insight like to agree with me here in the comments? Or elucidate further or even disagree? All opinions are welcome, but some of them will get you blocked. <laughs> Man and a woman. Great like recipe for bisexualism. No, 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 I want to see the deliciously tacky dance now. The deliciously tacky dance goes a little bit like this. Deliciously tacky. All right, Brittany, so you had a party that you had to attend. They felt that you wanted to drink more than anything else. That wasn't it at all. I made a joke with uh, the CoverGirl model. She was like, oh, those are good. And I was like, oh, well, let's try one of those. Now. But do you understand who the client is? CoverGirl? Cover there are certain clients where you can be rambunctious, you can be crazy. CoverGirl is fun, but it's also very professional. Um, Brittany, you had to sell fragrance. You're negative, you're a fool. You're a positivist, you're a fool. So you had a photo shoot? Perfect photograph. And the rain has you a little distorted, but I still feel the energy and I still think it's beautiful. Next. Wait a second. Is that really the location? I'm sure there was like something over here. Wasn't there like parts of the gas station that were over here? We didn't see this, did we? Hmm. Is there some sort of speculation afoot? That's not the word. Speculation afoot. The rain has Your you feet a little are riddled with speculation. I still feel the energy and I still think it's beautiful. Next is Kaylin. I thought you rolled with the crazy punches very well. Right. Yeah. Okay. Your best shot. Mm. Oh See, look, there's, there's bits of other That's bits around. Beautiful, you got a kick-ass body. She's like a Bond girl. Girl, I'd be pumping gas at that station. Thank you. Okay, up next we have Christina. So, you had to sell perfume. It was cold, it was clinical. It's unique, Dear. it sets you um, apart from everyone else. You have absolutely no idea who you are. Oh God. What are you thinking right now, Christine? I've seen so many times, like, my mom get walked all over, and I just don't want that to happen to me, especially in an industry that can eat you up and spit you out. I've learned to be very strong, but you don't have to tell the whole world because they just won't like you and you won't get the job. I'm sorry you feel You had a shoot, and here is your best shot. Oh, my God, was that some remorse from Janice about something she's just said? What? But you don't have to tell the whole world because they just won't like you and you won't get the job. I'm sorry you feel You had a shoot, and here... Is that positive? That's a very interesting way to apologize, isn't it? I'm sorry you felt bad. Here's your best shot. Sexy picture. That looks looks like you really were bearing the eyes. You look like Wonder Woman, Linda Carter. Very beautiful. All right, Tatiana. Very, yeah, a little bit Linda Carter. What happened? You just gave up before you began. I was confused about what I was supposed to be doing. You left me feeling confused. Wow. Wow. 
Beautiful photograph. You were the only girl who understand the head flip. You have such a beautiful face. All right, Tatiana, thanks. Tiffany, you were dorky and kind of non-consequential. Here is your best shot. Is that good or bad? Tiffany, 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 this is a shot which has so much going on in it that, you know, your face has to own the picture. It's also a classic reason why don't get tattoos on your chest like this, please. A lot of the shots, they look very stripper now. What? A lot of the shots, they look very stripperish. It's because it's a stripper photo shoot. Let's be honest. Naima, you dealt with the crazy people so well. You got crazy people in your family. Yeah. No comment. Here's your best shot. Oh, that's hot. You were amazing to shoot. It looks a little crotchy. A little too leg spread and it's a little too... I like it. I don't like any of these photos. Any of them. They're just not good this was a terrible idea for a photo shoot and sometimes you just have to go that was a terrible idea for a photo shoot these photos are never going to see the light of day fabulous i don't like it all right Kenya. you were sweet you were charming you were cute okay now let's take it to the next level here's your best shot they just don't want sweet charming and it cute. looks like it's your very first photo shoot you've but ever yeah, done they also don't want anyone to be too sexy because as soon as you're too sexy they're like um are you that sort face is beautiful but you know what your face is always going to be beautiful so actually I think it's very disappointing. All right, Rebecca. Rebecca, I have doubt that you're like a Girl Scout cookie. You're what a horrible thing to say. You're very beautiful and your face is always very beautiful. So actually it's really disappointing. Like, where is the critique in that? Where is the feedback there? That's just, you're disappointing. Where do you get, you can't, can't go anywhere from that, can you? You can't be like, oh, well, you're, because your face is really beautiful, have you ever tried to extend your neck and maybe almost make it a little bit stranger looking rather than just leaning into beauty? That's a critique going, it's just really disappointing that you're so pretty, isn't it? Take your little pocket square home, no little. I'm trying to sell to everyone. I think you sounded rehearsed. So you had a photo shoot? Hmm. That's cute. You can't win, can and you? The sway of the back and the booty. Great body position, but, but it's the face. It pulls. They're up. like great booty, great body position, but then as soon as Tiffany did it, they were like stripper, stripper whore, ha! Body position, but it's the face. It pulls an uncomfortable. I actually sort of don't really like this. Even you need even... to. Dude. All right, Yubi, so you had to pitch your fragrance as a spokesmodel. Yubi, you were a bubbling fool. I felt like you were so unsure. Yubi, your eyes again are looking a little dopey. You work with the elements. You work with the rain. You work with the wind. You gave a lot of energy and you gave it a lot of heart. And it didn't come together completely for you. Okay, that was Michelle. actually... You know, Michelle, I really like you. Nice. Um, there's something about you. You remind me a lot of who I am. So world. you think you're a seven foot tall blonde. Oh. That. In my dreams, I, I am. That. Yes. Here's your best shot. Oh, oh, nice. You know, okay. This photo from a distance is gorgeous, the body position, but close up, it looks like Carrie at the end of the movie when she killed everyone. I mean, it's really bad. <laughs> Get on out here now. Go on now. Get on out here. <laughs> they really just couldn't give her a compliment. Tatiana, I don't they? like They're the like, great, but also awful, the worst one. Punch, look in the face. Tatiana Punched. has everything it takes to get most guys going. Kaylin. That's not the challenge. The challenge has not got what it takes to get most guys going. Nigel, if you went out in Vauxhall, we could say the same for you. Back alley Barker. <laughs> Uh, uh. It takes to get most guys going. Kaylin. She's definitely selling something in this shot. That's Don't terrible know lighting. Is, but selling. Brittany. I think she's cool, she's interesting, she's loud, and she's obnoxious. This photo is amazing. It looks like an old, early Herbert's photo. Tiffany. Does it? She just Does it really? Scared. She looks kind of oof, very scary when you look up close at her face. Scared or scary? Both. Kenya. I don't think this was Kenya's best day. She didn't sell it, baby. She looks stiff. It's not great. She can do better than this. Christina. I like the little mouth. I like the big buggy eyes. And I like that waspy, Yankee kind of feeling she's got. When she broke down. What does that I saw mean? a human a being. Before Yankee. that, I just saw this ice Why princess. Why Anglo-Saxon parent? Michelle, my little tomboy, my little tom girl. My problem with Michelle is the twitches, the fists. Something about Michelle just tugs at my heartstrings. Rebecca. Rebecca reminds me of those great stock runway models. She's as good to have at an agency to make money, but she's not America's Next Top Model. You don't know that yet. That's a weird thing to say, isn't it? Because surely that's a beneficial thing for everyone involved. You would want someone on your books who you can rely on that makes money. And over time, that's what makes a top model. Interesting critique there, Nolel. Yep. You 
get my, my ghost really got got this time. There's something about her that is mesmerizing. I think Yubi has the face to be a star. But she if does. you don't know what to do with that face, Naima. <laughs> Naima with her beautiful creamy voice. I her think. voice is really cool. It goes to the individual, whether you're a working mother, a young I was just girl. Gonna say, whether you're working <laughs> class. Body here. She needs to lose five to ten pounds. Yes. And they're all fat. The entire room is fat. I'm fat. You're all fat. Well, I'm glad that she went further on saying that. But like, what a weird thing. Five to ten pounds. That's a huge. For someone that small, is such a huge amount of weight. I don't like. I don't like this. I don't like this episode, girls. I have ten beautiful women that stand in front of me. But I only have Janice. nine photos in my hands. Right, okay. And these photos Here represent the nine of you that will still be in the running towards becoming America's next top. I do also think the makeup the that they put them in I'm half the time doesn't actually suit them. Okay. What's with the... Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming America's next top. Duh. The next name that I'm going to call... Orchestra. Brittany. You love your personality. Just learn to reel it in just a little. Oh. This this Bolero, is it a Bolero? I think it is a Bolero. Bolero is very sissy cross-dresser on Facebook in 2007, isn't it? A little bit. Congratulations. Naima. Congratulations. Right. Thank you. You're welcome. Christina. Oh, I actually don't know who's going to be in the I'm going to smile. I'm going to smile on my face. You were the most endearing tonight, and it showed some humanity. You're still in the running towards becoming Evie a Evie and... Thank you very much. You're welcome. Tiffany, maybe? Michelle. They said that she nailed you're the photo shoot, which is Heartbeat, weird. You're offbeat, and that's why you continue from week to week, because you're you. Thank you so much. Tatiana. Yes. Yes. Congratulations. Congratulations. Tiffany. Okay, all right. Congratulations. Thanks. The next name that I'm going to call? Kenya. Oh, Kenya, you're usually. usually at the head of the pack, but tonight you were lukewarm. It's up to you to push yourself to the next level. You're still in the running towards becoming America's next top model. Will you be and Rebecca please step forward? I only have one photo in my hands. And this one photo represents the girl that will still be in the running towards becoming America's next top model. The right. girl that I do not call must immediately return to your loft, pack your belongings. And leave. The reason the two of you stand before me tonight is because from week to week, your critique is the same. For Rebecca, it's beautiful girl, but safe, boring. Top models aren't boring. They're edgy. They're interesting. UV. You they call it safe sex, world, which is but from week to week, your pictures like having unprotected sex with I don't know strangers or whatever. It's not like risque and edgy and cool like it's not say otherwise i believe that you have so much potential i think that both of you have had the weakest progression both of you hit on one photo shoot but to be on the road to being a top model is about more than just hitting it once and she one of you is going to get a chance weeks ago. to hit it again I thought it was going to be a double elimination then. I was like, oh, hey. Congratulations. You're still in the running towards becoming America's next top model. Thanks, Yuvi. Oh, this is actually quite I'm so sad. I'm so lost right now. I have no idea. I, this being a model has been my dream since I was three. I'm not the cover girl girl, you know? But I know I'm strangely well, beautiful. Maybe I'm too realistic for this. My head's not in the clouds. Career rise, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I have no idea. Oh. That's sad. Oh, goodbye, UV. You have been saved from this nonsense, but also you have, yeah, right. Uh, it's all your fault, Ken Mark. Right, I've got some thoughts. Uh. Right, my lovelies, that was actually a very difficult episode to watch for a multitude of different reasons. I really feel for UV there because we saw 
throughout this episode, there was that flash of like, I could still make it to be America's Next Top Model, which is clearly what production want her to say. And that kind of makes me go like, oh, she must have felt something that was just like, I'm not going to get this. I'm really not going to get this. They're just not getting me. The thing is, in every single one of these seasons, there's always someone that they're like, you're not going to win. So we'll string you along, make you feel horrible and then kick you out. Saying someone has the worst photo they've ever seen when it was clearly a makeup faux pas, in my opinion, with the fish look from a few se few episodes ago. To then today being like, you're in the wind and the rain in the desert, but you're also trying to give us extremely sexy, but you're not at the same time. And we're not going to tell you what sexy looks like. We're just going to be like, be sexy. I just feel like set to fail, set up to fail. Well, my lovelies, let me know what you think about what we've seen in today's episode. I did think that it was going to be the Tiffany one. It's not today. Will it be the next one? You'll have to wait and see. My goodness me, I'm so warm. I'm going to go off and just sit in the cold. I'm going to open the fridge and just sit in the cold for a while. Maybe I could do with that like torrential rain machine. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Hermit the Frog. Thank you so much for following me over on Instagram. You stunning woman on the go. And if you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video's Instagram shout out, make sure you follow me on Instagram. It is xxluxaria. I might actually change that to subscriber shout out on my second channel. Mm, maybe. And as always, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Orcos Samoji, Amelia Dillingham, Ari Ardia X, Becky Johnson, Beebles32, Bumblebee Whisperer, Cameron Pittman, Shell Herman, ContraPoints, Emma Burns, Eric Castillo, Finch Dunham, James A. Zengirl, Jenny Jenny, Jenny Wood, Caitlin Wright, Larissa Says Relax, Leanne Jones, Lenore, Les Banana, Mo Sherman, Miss Kiss, Novembrix, Paolo Rivera, Rye Loves Rory, Sky Dorim, Steffi Tech, TNS Mum, and Taylor Martin. I think I'm gonna leave it on the note of don't craft a perfume bottle out of cardboard and try and tell me you're a spokesmodel.